And it's been another week and I can't do anything with my hair because we've been going to the gym a lot because back when I did the first update after we started shooting, somebody in the comments was like, man, Jake, you're getting fat. And I thought, yeah, all right, let's fix that. <laughs> so we've been going to the gym a lot and we've been doing production a lot. And I have spent the last three days actually not doing much of anything on the show because I was so worn out. Here's the deal. We've been shooting a lot. We've been getting a lot of pages. And let me tell you this much. Episode 9 is 83 pages long. And after this weekend of shooting, we will have 75 pages of it. That's a lot, you guys. So I haven't been able to edit much because I've been shot listing and getting everything ready for the next shoot night. Like, this is the first time that I've been able to sit down and talk to you in the office because today, all of my getting stuff ready has been right here, right in this space instead of running to a prop house or a prop master or being out and about trying to get stuff for the show. Right now, we I think we have everything ready for shooting today. And we've got shooting on Saturday and Sunday nights. Give you a little peek into what today was like. Um, I didn't shoot any footage of it because I was so busy doing it. That's another thing. If you are in production, you spend a lot of time doing stuff instead of filming yourself doing stuff. Um, so today I sent out to the Screen Actors Guild a bunch of time production sheets. We, we filled these out for uh, SAG-AFTRA, Screen Actors Guild. Uh, every actor signs in with their times so that we know what time they checked in and out. Um, so that what time they need to be compensated for, as well as dinner breaks. If you have more than four hours of shooting, you need to add a lunch break or a dinner break. Um, that is a sag after a rule. We do a lot of stuff four hours or less, so uh, we don't have dinner breaks on those nights. Or actually, I have been having dinner breaks right before so that people can come to set, eat, and then be ready to work. But, uh, but yeah, so then when we do have a night where we, where we have a dinner break, we go in over there, fill in the start and finish time of dinner so that they know that we took a half hour for dinner. So I scanned in the latest bunch of production time sheets and sent those off to our SAG representative. I typed up the shot list for tonight and tomorrow. I <laughs> sent out an email about shooting tomorrow, letting people know the address again and what pages we would be covering and what wardrobe was needed and what crew was needed, all of those things. That's a usual thing that I do leading up to production. Production. We made breakfast. That was good. We also have all the posters printed out for all of the donors and we looked through and checked what signatures we need to get so tonight when we're with Damon's villain crew we can get a bunch of their signatures on people who wanted their signatures on the posters. So we've been lining all this up getting ready for shooting tonight and I'm about to go to the gym as well. Let's do first shot last shot guys. We've had three shoot nights that you haven't seen yet. Last Saturday first shot. Track one. One. Sounds great. Oh man. Set and action. Last shot. Rolling. 71. Oh, so 71. 71. Set and action. Then Sunday night, first shot. Speeding. Rolling. Track two. Uh, track two. Set. Nope, coming up. And action. Last shot. Speeding. And and then on Tuesday night, uh, there's a whole blog post about how hard it was to shoot on Tuesday night and how what we thought we were gonna get we didn't actually quite get, but we got amazing stuff. So first shot. Rolling. Track two. Okay. Ready, sir? After I do the first mark to there, I'm gonna take my hand off. Okay. And okay. Sounds good. Action. Last shot. Okay. Rolling on track 16. Rolling. Okay. Set. And action. On the Pops blog, there's kind of a breakdown of what what all the challenges we faced that night were. There's a history on the Platoon of Power Squadron production of um, filming in really cold temperatures. Everybody having to be outside when it's cold, being miserable, being sick. Things like that. That's part of our production history at this point. We have very few nights outside in episode 9. It's just the way it worked out with the characters' stories and everything. There's a lot of interior scenes, not very many exterior scenes. But Tuesday night was one of our few exterior scene nights, and it was snowing 
on and off really hard that night. Um, so it's all about trying to make it match and trying not to show too much of the snow around. You, take, you have to have really big snowflakes and a lot of them for them to register on camera. Um, so you can film in the snow and rain if it's only mildly snowing or raining. And we did that on Tuesday night for about two hours. Pops. And that's what's been going on. Sorry this is so, like, here's what's going on, but that's what's going on. If I was out and about, I'd be showing you more, but I'm just not this week, and I'm kind of glad about it. It's nice to have a Saturday where I wake up, stay in the apartment, and still get a bunch of stuff accomplished for Pops, because these timesheets need to be in a timely manner. Had to scan those in, everything, and just getting a lot done, you know? And then next week, next week we're going to be out of here, you guys. Eliza and I are going to New Mexico to hang out with her family for Christmas. Yes. <laughs> we have like a week and a half where we're going to be gone. Yeah, speaking of gone. She's leaving. I gotta go. She's a gone girl. <laughs> Let's hope not. <laughs> <laughs> um, I love that movie so much. So she's taken off to go to... Work. Work. For her book group, her teen book group. And then she's going to come home and we're going to go to set and shoot until probably about 11 p.m. tonight. It's easy to wear yourself out with stuff like this. If you have your job and then you're spending a lot of nights shooting and then in between those nights you're either at the gym or planning on shooting next stuff. It's easy to get worn out and I'm just tired. I'm worn out. I'm really satisfied with everything that we've gotten footage wise. All the actors are doing such an amazing job. All of the shots are so cool. Episode 9 is going to be amazing you guys <sighs> we've got two more nights of shooting and then I've got two more days of work and then we've got a little bit of a break pops logo hope you guys have a good one I will see you later